I, Dr. Karuna Segul, Associate Professor, CSC Department, SGBIT, Belgavi. Today we'll be talking about TC Lab and we'll discuss on program two, that is commercial calculator. Write a C program which will do the commercial or act as the commercial calculator. The definition of the program two goes like this. Develop a program to solve simple computational problems using arithmetic expressions and use of each operator leading to simulation of a commercial calculator. So in this case, you are not supposed to use any built-in mathematical functions. So moving to the pseudocode of this particular program. Okay. So in this case, we are supposed to use the switch statement to do this task. For this, why we are using the switch statement? The reason behind that is, so you have to go ahead with the menu driven kind of stuff because in case of this, you have something called as the commercial calculator means you have to work on variety of things, something like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and the modulus operation here. So we consider these are the basic operators that are available in the commercial calculator and will proceed with the same thing. And using a switch statement, this becomes very easy for us to do or carry out the these operations very easily. So for that, what we are going to do, first we'll try to display the menu and according to the menu, we'll take up the case values here. So case one stands for the addition. So which is going to do the addition of two numbers case two is going to deal with the subtraction there and case three is going to deal with the multiplication case four is going to talk about the division operation so in division operation try to take care of the uh, divide by zero error also and fifth one is the modulus operator right so whenever we talk about the modulus operator please remember modulus will be operated only on the integer values so with this basics, so we'll talk or we go ahead with the pseudocode of the commercial calculator. Program are the pseudocode that is helping us to solve or act as the computational, sorry, commercial calculator here, which is going to help us to solve simple problems there. So it is asking us to read two values, A and B. We are going to read those things. First, it is going to print the message. Then it is going to ask us the values to be read there as A and B. Then it is going to display a menu. So that menu consists of which option you are supposed to, you wanted to choose. So according to that, it is going to uh, work on the, or it is going to carry out the operation on the given data there. So it is asking us to enter the choice here. So we are going to read the choice here. The switch value that is given is any one of these values. Okay, so now depending on this, so it is going to switch is going to switch to any one of the case value. So if choice is one here, then it is going to go ahead with the case value one. If choice is two, it is going to go ahead with the case value two. And if the choice value is three, it is going to go ahead with the three. Okay. If other than these five values are given as a choice value, then it is going to go ahead with the default of the switch statement, which is going to give us a message called as invalid operator or invalid input there. Okay, so in this case, as we have already mentioned, the one stands for the addition, right? So we are going ahead with the sum is equal to A plus B. These are the two operands that we have given and we are going to do this operation on this particular or on these two operators and we are going to print the summation and in each case we are going to use the break statement because it is helping us to come out of the particular case statement there. Okay, so second case is going to help us to do the 
minus operation or subtraction operation here that's what we are doing again it is printing the result of the subtraction operation and to come out of the particular case statement we are going to again use the break statement as moving to case 3 case 3 is dealing with the multiplication of two numbers there then after doing the multiplication the result will be displayed and we are breaking out of the case 3 there okay if you go ahead with the case 4 here so we'll check for the condition whether the denominator is zero or what if it denominator is zero we'll try to display an error message telling that divide by zero error else we are going to do the or proceed with the division operation here as we people are working on integers it is left to the individuals whether they want to do the operations on the integers or the um, floating point values right so depending on that you have to declare those things so in our case we have we are dealing with the uh, integers there okay so division is again done on the only the uh, integer part here our integer data there a and b right okay so now a divided by b is yielding us only the quotient part and that will be stored inside the division there and that we are going to print and after doing that we are going to come out of the break and this break if you look at this break please remember if this is executed if this particular statement is true after printing this divide by 0 we are also breaking here okay or if this condition is not satisfied then if you are going out with else part again in that case also so else part contents will be executed again we are going to break the case for that okay in the similar fashion we'll be writing the uh, things for the modulus operation also if b is equal to 0 there then print result is undefined there okay because again divide by 0 right okay so now if you go ahead with this okay sometimes it, it is up to you people whether you want to go ahead with this zero uh, because we are going ahead with the remainder there okay so i mean sometimes you may consider this also right so it is left to the individuals usually denominator is zero then we assume that it is uh, not the right way of taking the data there so else part we are going at with what we call it as the modulus operator so this mod operator always gives us the remainder of the uh, division operation there so we after getting the mo i mean modulus or the remainder there that will be displayed on the screen there okay so now again the same thing is true with the break statement if this condition is true again print after printing this message it is going to break the uh, fifth case or if this is not true again it is going get with the else part and it is going to calculate i mean calculate the uh, remainder part and it is going to print that and it, we are going to come out of the fifth case there okay if whatever data or whatever choice you have given is not in the list or not in the menu there then it is going to print an invalid choice there and so we are going to close the what we call it as a case statement here then we are going to close the main there now this is about a simple pseudo code that does or acts as the commercial calculator here so i'll try to write the program for the same now okay so look at the program so we need to go ahead with what we call it as the documentation section so just to mention the title of the program there then we'll be including the stdio.h that helps us to uh, work on the printf statement and a scanf statement there or input output statement there then following with the int main there right so if you are using the int main there the last statement of the main program should be a return zero if you are using it as a void main then you need not worry about usage of there use the return zero as a last statement of the main program there okay so let's go ahead with the various i mean uh, variables that we are going to use inside our program so if you go ahead with this int so these are some of the variables that we are going to use as i already mentioned we are worried or we are working on only integer here so we have taken all the things as a part, as a integers here it is up to you people whether you want to take those things as okay the floating point value you can define it as a floating point value but for the modulus operation you have to uh, explicitly type cast that uh, particular floating point value to integer before you proceed with the mod operation because modulus will be operated on only on integer division or integer data okay so now it is asking you people to enter the values for a and b 
and you are reading the same thing with the help of scan of statement there so after reading that so it is going to display a menu so one for the addition two for the subtraction and so on there then it is going to ask you to enter the choice then you are going to read the choice there okay so this choice please remember this choice must be any one of these values that you have taken here either one two three four five if any one i mean other than these value so that choice value will be directly going to the default of the switch statement i'll begin with the switch statement okay so switch choice please remember whenever you go ahead with this choice value here so choice value should be either a can integer value or it can be a character but it shouldn't be any floating point value other than that it is not acceptable only the integer are the characters okay so it may be an expression but that expression evaluation of that expression must yield an integer value there so now depending on the choice value we are going to write the cases there right so first case so case 1 so we are doing the uh, summation there so it is doing the summation here and we are printing the same thing and we are coming out of the case 1 there using a break statement if you don't use the break statement it will continue with the second case there so every case must uh, end with the break statement there if you go ahead with the second case it is doing the subtraction it is printing the same thing and it is coming out of the case i mean that is the case 2 the same thing is true for the case 3 okay so it is doing in this case it is doing the multiplication right on a two operands then the result will be displayed and it is coming out of the case 3 value there then if you go ahead with the case 4 here it is going to check what we call it as right the uh, de denominator there if the denominator is zero it's going to print it as the divide by zero and if it is not equal to zero then it is going to do the division operation right so uh, again i am mentioning here it is going to do the division operation uh, on a integer values here so that's why it's going to print only the quotient integer quotient part as a result over here then the last statement of this case should be break here i am using the same thing here because i wanted to come out of the switch statement now case for you so it is up to you people whether you want to use the denominator as zero or no okay if you use denominator as zero then write it as result undefined okay if it is denominator is not zero then proceed with the calculation of a mod operator and please take care that a and b should be of the type integer right okay then whatever remainder you are going to get out of it so that will be displayed so after this we are going to break again or uh, use we are going to use a break there to come out of the switch statement there so last statement is default statement if other than five values or five choices if you give any other values so we have to give it as a invalid choice there so now we are going to close the switch statement there then after that as you have started with int main there the last statement should be return zero here then we are going to close the main brace here so this is the simplest program okay that we have dealt with okay i'll show you the sample output of the same thing here right okay so now these are the sample input enter the values of a and b here 2 and 3 so these are the sum of the choices that is it is displaying there then you have to enter your choice i have entered it as 1 there and it is going to give me the result as 5 there right so another sample input which is going to do the subtraction where i have given my choice says 2 there right so it's displaying the menu okay so to play with the okay, system so these examples are very okay useful for the beginners okay so this is another example 3 and 2 and in this case we have given a choice as 3 there and it is going to give the result as a multiplication there right and go ahead with the i mean uh, division operation there so 4 and 2 there so if you go ahead with this so if i give the op option as 4 there then it is going to give me the okay see result as 2 there so it's a quotient value okay so this is all about the uh, commercial calculator right okay so thank you so much so i'll close today's session